Baldur's Gate 3 is an awesome game, but it can be difficult to get the hang of it at first. Here are 9 easy and spoiler free quick tips to make your life in the Forgotten Realms just a little bit easier. Make sure you make it to the last 2 tips that the game never tells you about. Let's get started. Along your journey you will encounter dozens upon dozens of dice rolls. Each roll takes a few seconds to complete, which doesn't sound like much, but can get pesky rather quickly. You can skip the animation just by left clicking, which saves you a few seconds every time. Casual Lama is not liable in case of rolling dice causes injury or death. If we are to save time, we need to talk about looting. One thing the game doesn't tell you is that instead of clicking, you can quickly loot all just by pressing spacebar. Spacebar also works as a quick way to end your turn in combat. One thing the game does tell you, but can be overseen quite quickly, is the highlight function. By pressing Alt, you can highlight all the herbs and lootable bodies in your vicinity. Keep in mind though that while this does highlight a few items outside of herbs too, it doesn't highlight everything. Certain containers and items have to be found the old fashioned way, with your well trained looting site. One ability I gave way too little attention at first was the jump ability. Baldur's Gate 3 is not a streamlined game, but one with plenty of different paths, ledges and chasms. There can and will be ways to pressure stashes only by using a jump ability. Wow. So use it like, right now, what are you waiting for? Start the game, goddamn. <laughs> this is so dumb, I'm keeping this in. Sometimes, however, companions won't follow you after you've made a jump. This seems to be a bug when manually they are able to make the jump. Selecting them and doing just that sometimes causes your other companions to jump back though. A workaround is to detach the respecting companions in the party overview on the left of your screen. Another reason could be... If you're making a jump to a lower elevation and all your companions follow you, it can happen that not every companion is able to make the jump back. I applaud your taste. This is because jumping to a higher elevation takes a greater strength skill. When this happens, you basically softlock that character. You can free it by teleporting, but this requires you to run back to where you were, so jump carefully. Watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Just something real quick. Not only can you hold control and select items with left clicking, you can also select an item and hold down shift. Then, select an item below this item to select all subsequent items, making inventory management much, much easier. Now I have a question for you. Are you masochists still running through your own spells? Stop it. Get some help. In Baldur's Gate 3, spells require so-called concentration. Concentration breaks when you cast a new spell or take damage. However, you can break concentration on a spell at any time if you don't want it to linger any longer. This is especially useful if an AoE effect persists after combat. In order to do that, select the character that casted the spell. Now, navigate to the lower part of your screen. There you will see the ability that is currently active. Just click on the little X icon to break concentration. You can even do this in combat in between turns. So you don't have to wait for that character's turn to remove a death trap you laid for yourself. And just like that, you can move safely again. And finally, to the last tip you have been waiting for... Something that was a little more obvious in Divinity Original Sin 2 is that you can move your companions while in dialogue. So while one of your companions is vigorously rolling dice in dialogue and you anticipate combat to start soon, you can position your other companions in a way that benefits you in the upcoming battle. While in dialogue, select the companion overview in the lower left part of your screen. Provided these characters are not in dialogue, you can move them around freely. An easy way to get the high ground and make the upcoming battle a little easier. Which of these tips was the most helpful for you? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, consider liking and subscribing. This was my first longer video and the first time I used my own voice, so feedback is much appreciated. And remember, F5 is your best friend.
Thank you for watching.